Hey guys, it is your grandma Randy, and I'm back with another video. And I told you guys that I was going to come back because I had to finish up talking to you guys about what God was showing me and telling me regarding the last message. And it, you know, it's kind of a deep message. And so I wanted to make sure that I had the time to really like sit down and explain to you guys and really go over a little bit more what it is that God is doing and saying. And so the last message that I had put out you know, regarding what Heavenly Father was saying. I wanted to just follow up on that, on how you are not, you know, you're not defined overall by what it is that it looks like. And don't allow anybody to tell you who you are. And titles don't make a person. You have it because it's within you. And so a lot of the times you know, what Heavenly Father was saying to me is we pretty much, you know, will end up not looking like what we were called to do. And just like I was saying in that last video, in that last message, how, you know, you may be a teacher, but at the end of the day, you may not look like a teacher. The Bible says a man who finds a wife finds a good thing. But at the end of the day, a person don't, you know, they don't always have the insight to see who you are or where you're going or what you're about to become because it's not always meant for them to see. And a part of that, the reason why Heavenly Father does not allow them to see it is because while, you know, other people can't see it, but you can feel it inside of you. You can feel you know, hey, I was meant for this, I was designed for this, I was built for this, God made me for this. Although all those things are true, that doesn't mean that we're not still being developed. That doesn't mean that God is not still shaping us and forming us because at the end of the day, remember, the Bible says that God is the potter and we are the clay. And so a lot of the times, he's still shaping us, he's still molding us, he's still, you know, shaping us in being what is already inside of us so by him doing that a lot of the times that happens by experience and this is what he wanted me to go deeper into experience is the best teacher ultimately it doesn't matter how many degrees you have it doesn't matter how many institutes you've been to how many colleges you've been to, what your education looks like. A lot of the time experience is the best type of teacher. And no one can understand, you know, why God will allow you to go through some of the things that you're going through because they don't know the different types of experience that God needs you to have. They don't know the different type of experience that God wants you to go through. So when he sends you to where it is that you need to be, when other people start to see the title that has already always been in you, you will have experience. And so with experience comes problems. Anybody who's learning something new because remember, the expert at anything was once a beginner. And so when you're learning something new, when God is developing you into having and gaining that experience, obstacles and problems are going to happen. They're going to appear. Things aren't just going to be perfect and like, hey, I have this gift inside of me, this purpose, this passion that God placed inside of me, and I'm just perfect. No, we're not Jesus. We're not God. We have to experience certain things, certain struggles, certain problems, certain trials, certain tribulations in order for us to be an expert, in order for us to understand it doesn't matter what it is. When you're starting a new business, guess what? You have to go through different trials and tribulations with that business. Nobody just automatically has a business 
and they just automatically come into their business and they just know everything perfect they know all the ropes they know all the ends they know all the outs no you have to practice you have to learn from experience it's just like you know baking a cake for example a person who bakes a cake and who's really good at cooking or really good at baking they probably weren't really good at it at first they probably maybe put too much milk. Maybe they didn't stir it up good enough. Maybe they forgot to add butter. Maybe they forgot to add oil. Maybe they left it in the oven too long. Maybe they were following the directions on the back of that box. And although the back of the box says to put it on 350 and to cook it for 30 minutes, that you might have to take it out a little bit earlier because your oven runs different. All ovens aren't the same. Just like we're not all the same. We're not all the same. And so when a person tries to tell you, oh, you have problems, blah, blah, blah. You have this, you have that. You have healthy problems. You have good problems because you're learning from experience. God is shaping you. God is molding you. God is the potter and we are the clay. And so whenever you're doing something new that you've never done before, it's always going to come with some type of trials and tribulations and problems. So when someone tries to tell you, oh, you're making yourself have all these problems, it's your fault. Who in this world doesn't have problems? Who in this world doesn't go through things? Who in this world has never been through something? everyone has and we all have and when you're destined for greatness the bigger the problem the bigger the blessing the bigger the breakthrough the bigger the anointing the bigger the calling so don't ever let somebody try to down talk you and to speak curses over your life or to be used by the enemy to make you for one second believe that everybody doesn't have problems, everybody doesn't go through something, and those who who may not be going through something now, we even talked about this, I learned this in church, they said, hard times don't last, but strong people do, and if you haven't experienced a struggle or a hard time, be grateful and be thankful, but know that the storm is eventually going to come to you. Time and chance happen to everyone. And so nobody just has a perfect life where everything is perfect and nothing has ever happened into their life where they don't have any issues, they don't struggle with anything, they don't have any problems. The devil is a lie and the truth ain't in him. And so a part of, you know, what's inside of you and what your anointing is and what God is calling you to do, a part of that has to do with, you know, you going through the experience of learning. Because I guarantee you, the same people who are talking about you and who, you know, are saying you have all these problems, you have this and that, eventually, because you work through those problems, you work through the pain, you work through the struggle, one day they're going to be coming back to you, asking you, how did you do it? How did you do it? Because there's some things, like I said earlier, that experience teaches you that no institute can teach you, no school can teach you. And so the greatest people who are great at what it is that they do or what they're called to do have experience and they've experienced the struggle. They've experienced tough times with their business with their calling, with their purpose, and they didn't ever give up, and they trusted and believed in God no matter what. And that's what God wants, is for us to keep getting up, keep getting back up, keep fighting, keep trusting Him, keep believing Him, 
no matter what it looks like or what it feels like. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. God wants you to know that the promise and the purpose, they're both in the backyard. They're in the backyard with each other. They're in the backyard. There's always going to be an assignment against your assignment. It's just like the flesh and the spirit war with each other, it's the same thing with your purpose. It's the same thing for your calling. It's the same thing for what God has placed inside of you. There's always going to be something wrestling against you to try and stop you. But continue to fight. Continue to gain the experience. Continue to pick yourself up. Continue to learn. Continue to rebuke the enemy and the lies that he tries to say over your life and you know, say to you, rebuke it. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Cast it back to the fiery pits of hell. I rebuke it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Anybody speaking curses over my life, anybody who is going against the plan and the wills that you have for me, God, I rebuke it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. And so I pray this message blesses you guys. I love you. Be blessed, and I'll be back with another video. Bye, guys.